I wanted to say a word on the use of evidence in drawing conclusions about situations because it's very clear that a lot of people are drawing conclusions from very little evidence, but mostly from um, opining. So I think that, and again, I mean, I'm sorry to impose my opinion on, on you know, everyone, but I think it's very important that we rely on evidence and we rely on the answers to specific questions to draw conclusions rather than the presentations made by uh, people who are trying to promote a specific viewpoint. I, while I'm biased because I'm a human being and I have opinions and I'm not willing to lie to anyone and suggest that I don't carry those opinions and thoughts with me wherever I go, they're in my head. But I am willing to state, however, that I'm going to try to be objective. Um, I can try to approach a situation to discern the facts from the opinions. And that's what we need to start doing. We've got a lot of infighting that goes on, and that's fine. It's okay to infight, but to infight based on presumption rather than on evidence is very short-sighted. I don't want to beat a dead horse. I'm not going to bring up anything in particular, but I mean, I think the examples are blaring. Those things that people would use as evidence for drawing conclusions are often rather pathetic sources of information, and they are not they do not provide the level of understanding necessary to actually draw conclusions. So, especially when we're trying to draw conclusions about someone's intentions, um, I think it's easiest to just ask what someone's intentions are. Um, if there's an issue of whether we can trust the person or not, that's a different story altogether. But then you have to wonder, well, why don't you trust the person? What is your evidence for not trusting the person? And why do you choose to trust someone else who is giving you information specifically to make you not trust another person? So again, I ask that we try to separate opinions from evidence. Opinions are not evidence. Opinions are evidence of an opinion, are evidence of someone's personal biases. But aside, opinions are only evidence of a person's personal beliefs and biases. They are not evidence of what has happened in reality and they are not evidence of what is happening in reality so again if, if, if people have if you have particular concerns the best way to address those concerns is specifically and not in drawing conclusions from poor evidence and or lack thereof opinions are not necessarily evidence